Humans love to watch and make things fly, and hitting and sending a golf ball soaring is no different. So a key question in the game of golf has always been, how far do you hit the golf ball? And the great news is thanks to Tracking Tech today, we have great information available to answer this. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the distance driving data for the average golfer, broken down by age, gender, handicap, and swing speed to give you as good an idea as we can. We're all familiar with all the advances in golf club technology over the last 20 to 30 years, but this has been accompanied by equally great advances in golf tracking tech. One of the best examples of this is Arcos, golf's first artificial intelligence and automatic shot tracking platform, which has been recognized by the prestigious Golf Digest Editors Awards five years running. They've crunched the numbers of over 26 million shoot shots hit by their users and found the following about driving distances broken down by age. The bad news, as we can see, is if you're already past your 30th birthday, chances are your long hitting days are already behind you. As every 10 years, you're gonna be losing some distance and increasingly so as you age. It's not all bad news according to the stats though, as the numbers also show you're gonna hit more fairways as you get older and approach shots begin to save you more strokes until you hit 60. The numbers do particularly also show, however, the 60 plus age bracket experiencing the most severe drop-offs across all the track stats. When it came to breaking down their driving distance data by gender, Arcos over the last three years also unsurprisingly found a big difference between the average drives of men and women golfers, with men averaging between 56 and 58 more yards in their drives. Over the period though, the stats show as we can see a smaller reduction in driving distance by women compared to men. Since the late 1980s, early 1990s, golf club tech has led to the subject of distance becoming a big focus of the two bodies that govern the sport worldwide. The United States Golf Association, the USGA, and the RNA based at the Homo Golf in St Andrews. Anyone who's witnessed the massive headlines and how far Bryson DeChambeau is now hitting the ball after piling on 40 pounds in the postseason can see what a big topic distance is in the game. To the extent that the USGA and RNA launched the Distance Insights project in 2018 and which in 2020 released its latest report. Amongst other insights the study gave into the past, present and future impacts of hitting distance in golf, it provided detailed analysis and average distances of male players from 1996 to 2019, broken down by handicap. Here's a summary of what they found. Although it's clearly not surprising that driving distances drop a lot as handicaps rise, the good news the report has highlighted is that the driving distances have increased for all male players from all handicap categories over the past 20 odd years, with the biggest distance gains being found in those with the highest handicaps. The bad news the report also highlights though is that with the average driving distance in the PGA Tour now nearing 300 yards and the longest hitters on tour getting over the 320 yard mark on average, the distance gap between the pros and us regular Joes is getting bigger and bigger. When it comes to distance data, loads of amateur golfers frequently point out the flaws in breaking driving distance down by age and handicap. Everyone knows some higher handicapper or more experienced golfer who can hit the ball as far if not further than better or younger players. So what about swing speed? One of the newer measures of performance golf tracking tech has brought to the forefront in recent times. How far should you be hitting the ball for your swing speed? For this, we can turn to the great folks at Golf WRX, the online golf community. They crunch the numbers from the fancy tech equipment the pros use on the PGA Tour, applied a bit of advanced maths and came up with this, appro this approximate guide for how far you should hit the ball based on your swing speed. Although the analysis throws in a couple of caveats about how carry distances can vary depending on conditions, and how the loss of clubs have been changing over the years, the conclusions are, are pretty clear and pretty obvious in that the your higher your swing speed, the longer the, the distance you're gonna be hitting the ball. 
And once you start approaching 80 miles an hour or less with the driver, notice how the distances start bunching up between clubs. At this point, therefore, you start getting to an area where you don't need to, to potentially have a full set of 14 clubs. And you might find that you hit a three wood or five wood further than the normal driver. Saying that, the key question when it comes to distance is how far you hit it rather than how far you should hit it. If you know that, you'll be in much better shape to improve the only numbers that matter in golf, the numbers you write down your scorecard at the end of the round.